Hey guys, how you doing? Got a tutorial for you today. I'm gonna try and be a lot more active on this channel now and get some um, get some three D content out of there, whether it be kind of intros I made for clients or tutorials, just kind of anything three D related will be on this channel. Um so let's get straight in with a tutorial. I'm gonna show you how we can make something very similar to this. Um, as you can see you kinda got the text like covered in like a liquid looking thing, which um liquid isn't something that you can do in cinema, but we can definitely kind of um, simulate it with what we're going to be using today. So let's just jump in and we'll um, get started. So first things first, you want to make your text. And something I always do once I make my text, make sure it's aligned in the middle, which um, obviously helps us out a lot. And we'll just rename this. Now I'm going to do mine, I'm going to call mine acid this time. Instead of making like a blood thing, we'll make like a green kind of acidy looking thing. So we'll just change the font to this. Um, not sure what fonts I have. Let's see what this one's like. Uh, not so much feeling that one. I guess we'll just use this. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Alright, then I'll just add a little bit of depth. I'm going to add quite a lot of depth, actually. 50 of it and maybe just turn up the height to about two whoops did not mean to do that turn up the height to about two oh my god it's not letting me all right there we go um so add some quick caps if you like let's go with five steps two radius five steps two radius and um there we have it, there's our text done, and now we just need to make this thing editable um, so we can actually apply it to the cloner object, which we're going to do next. So a quick way of doing this, if you make the first kind of text editable, and then if you right click the top, unfold all, and then highlight the whole thing, and connect and, whoops, not connect and delete, you want to make it editable again. And then you want to click the top, unfold all, and click the top again, hold shift, and click the bottom to highlight everything. And then do connect and delete. And now we've got this one single text object. And we can change this to the text. So this cannot be edited now. We can't change the text, change the font, or anything like that. But this is what we want. Alright. You can delete those hashtags, by the way, that are on there. So now we've got our text done. We need to actually create this blood type looking thing. Um, so we're going to need a cloner object for this. And we're going to need a sphere. And so what you're going to do is resize the sphere, you want it fairly small, but you'll, you'll be able to actually judge kind of the size of the sphere a lot easier in just a second. And then we want to apply the sphere into the cloner object, which of course is going to clone it. But we don't want the kind of the mode to be linear, we want an object. And we want our text to be the object, so we want to drag that down into this. And now is what we're going to see is hopefully this. Um, the sphere is kind of in a way creating the object kind of over the top of it which is good, it's what we want but we don't want it to kind of look like this, this looks very um, very not what we're after and we can actually change the mode down here to different things which kind of affect how it is but we want volume and that's going to make it a little bit more random um, which is really good and we also want to put the count up, I'm going to go with 5000 which might seem like a lot it's kind of what we want you to see right now because we're going to add the meta ball and this is going to kind of connect each sphere kind of um, connect them up by like dragging each polygon so they connect you'll see um, if we drop the cloner object with, with the sphere of course underneath the meta ball and now we've got one really big bubble so we want to turn up the whole value we've got kind of some options down here so turn up the top one the whole value until we get as you can see, something a lot closer to the letter. It's probably going to be about a thousand, which that will change in just a second. Also, the editor subdivision is the amount of subdivisions that we can see, and the lower it is, the more subdivisions. Um, so you want to kind of change this depending on what your computer can handle. I'm just going to go with ten, because my computer is not the quickest thing in the world. And the render subdivision is how many subdivisions will be actually rendered. I'm going to put this on two. Alright, so now we're going to resize the spheres. I'm going to drag these down. 
and then we can kind of know it's all just about playing around with it until you get something that you think looks quite good. I think for the sake of time we'll just go with something like this. I know it doesn't look the best, but you know, just keep playing around with it until you get something that kind of um, looks like what you're after. And when you're done with that you can um, turn down the editor subdivision to something a bit lower if you want once you're kind of done playing with it. Um, so this is what we have. We've got our acid with this kind of um, liquidy stuff around it. And now we can come in we can materialise this thing and throw some lighting in. So I'm going to go with like a greeny kind of um, like a lime greeny kind of look. And you want to make it reflective. I mean again it's all down to kind of what you're after right now. Um, but generally you want to make it reflective and maybe a bit of transparency. Not too much, but just kind of really vaguely so we can just see the text kind of behind it. So you, you want to apply that material to the metapole. I'm just going to see what we have is this. And it doesn't look that good yet, but we've not actually got any lighting in. It's kind of just using the default um, Cinema 4D lights, which aren't really that good. So now we've got that, we'll add a material to our text. Um, maybe we'll just go with like a darkish material. Um, could actually add a layer, or we'll load up an image, I'm going to use a texture, something like this. And then maybe add, it, add a bit of bump as well. There we go, we'll drop this down on our text. So that's what we have so far. I mean, if you actually apply a texture down, here's a quick tip. Um, sometimes you can't actually see the texture, so you might have to actually change the projection onto something else, like flat, for example. Now we'll get a much better kind of view of the um, actual texture. And if you get these lines, you just tick the seamless box, and that kind of um, sorts that out, makes it all a bit more, as it says, seamless. So now you got this. Um, Still not looking that good, because again we need some lighting in. Now I've got Grayscale Grows Light Kit Pro, so I'm going to start using some of these. these this is a very good um, kit you can actually buy. It's quite a lot of money, but it's well worth it. So I'm going to have an overhead softbox on the top, and then maybe just a normal softbox. And the computer's just freezing a little bit. There we go. It's a normal softbox, just kind of... um looking up at it like that. Maybe change this to window. So this is what we have. Um, let's do a quick render on this and see what it looks like. So that's basically the tutorial and I thought you kind of you can take something away from this because when I'm going to be doing my tutorial I'm going to make sure there's always kind of something you can take away from it that you can learn from rather than kind of me teaching you how to do one specific thing such as create text like this and hope now you've learned a little bit about how metaballs work or how the cloner object works and things like that um, but yeah that's basically the tutorial if you would like to see more then please rate the video and leave a comment um, yeah thanks for watching guys goodbye also there will be some examples in the description including this blood text I showed before. Um, just go and check them out if you want and see what kind of cool things you can come up with. Um, goodbye.